ago, our company started a contest called Dreamers into Doers to honor extraordinary women who have taken a passion and turned it into a profession. The winner is presented with a check for $10,000, which we hope will uh, help her organization continue to thrive. The stories we've read from the thousands of submissions have been incredibly inspiring. From last year's winner who created playgrounds where children with and without disabilities could play together, to this year's winner whose mission is to expose at-risk youth to higher education. Take a look at this tape, please. In the state of Indiana, only 25% of residents over the age of 25 have a college degree. This shocking statistic is something Aaron Slater is working hard to change as CEO of College Mentors for Kids. College Mentors for Kids matches at-risk children in first through eighth grade with college student mentors. The goal is really to help children understand that college is a possibility for everyone. The program began in 1995 and has grown significantly under Aaron's leadership. Currently, there are 20 campuses in Indiana, one in Illinois, and two in Ohio, and that serves over 30 elementary schools, 1,200 children every week. College Mentors targets children who are not exposed to the benefits of higher education at home. Many would like in my childhood to be very similar to some of the children that we serve. My family was in a car accident when I was five, and I lost my mom. By the time I was 16, my father passed away, and I didn't graduate from high school on time, and I started working in a restaurant. Kelly Frank, who is involved in College Mentors for Kids, actually worked in the restaurant. Kelly inspired Aaron to attend Purdue University and establish a chapter of College Mentors for Kids there. I started mentoring a little boy named Jonathan, and I had expectations of him, so then I had the same expectations of myself. I graduated from Purdue as Outstanding Senior Woman because of Jonathan's involvement in my life. This life-altering program begins with students such as Erin founding a chapter at a college, like the University of Indianapolis. The College Mentors for Kids program started here with about 10, 15 volunteers. And this year, we are going to have about 90 college students from the University of Indianapolis going to three schools. These mentors receive special training. We're teaching them about valuable leadership skills to the point where actually many of our corporations are saying, can I recruit from your alumni? Once trained, each chapter then partners with a nearby elementary school like IPS 114. Who in here wants to go to college? Fabulous. What's important is that the kids start thinking of where I want to go to college, what do I want to be? And College Mentors brings these professionals in so they get to see all the different opportunities that you can have, and college is the key to getting there. The best way to show what college is about is to bring the children to campus where they meet their mentors and do activities focused around different topics. The first topic is higher education and career. The second topic is culture and diversity. And then the third topic is community service. In addition, we do economics for kids. Community service was the topic of this workshop where the children learned about philanthropy. So philanthropy means love of mankind. Everyone gains something from their involvement. I want to go to college because I want to get a degree so I can be a teacher. I want to go to college because it can help me be ready for medical school and to be a doctor. Well, I actually was going to be a physician's assistant, but with being with College Mentors for Kids, I've changed to being an education major. I love kids so much that this is just what I want to do. The ripple effect of College Mentors for Kids is amazing. And their siblings want to get involved. And we actually have four parents of our children who are enrolled in college now as a result of our program. All of these experiences can be credited to Erin's perseverance and leadership of the program. And she has big plans for the future. My hope is that every child in the nation will understand that higher education is a possibility for them. And until that happens, every campus will have a chapter of College Mentors for Kids. Well, we couldn't be more excited to help Erin on her way to achieving her dream of getting a chapter on every campus in the United States. And today, she uh, joins us in the studio. Welcome, Erin. Thank you. It's really nice Thank to have you, you here. <laughs> now, before becoming CEO, you uh, mentored a child called John. Yes. And uh, tell us about him. Well, Jonathan was an amazing little first grade child who really had low self-esteem and continually put himself down in his journal and throughout the activities. 
And after we worked together for a few years, I saw an increase in self-esteem and pride and a desire to, it, to attend college and study computer graphics. Oh, that's so great. Well, I understand the two of you haven't really spoken for a couple of years. Right. We stayed in touch for about seven years, and I, I um, haven't spoken with him since he's been in junior high. Well, we happened to have John on the phone. We tracked him down. <laughs> and uh, John, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Martha. What have you been up to? Um, I'm a junior in high school right now. I'm looking to get into the, the journalism field. Great. Well, what kind of influence has Erin had on your life? Well, she, she's the one that inspired me to look at colleges <laughs> and influenced me to keep my, my eyes open and my feet facing forward. Fantastic, John. Um, uh, it's really nice to speak to you, and we're going to make sure that you and Erin touch base after the show, okay? Yeah, that sounds real awesome. Okay, well, Erin has little tears in her eyes, <laughs> actually dripping down her <laughs> dripping down her cheeks here. Thank you. Uh, thanks so much for calling in, John. I'm glad we found you. Yeah, and, good, and good luck with the rest of high school and uh, college beyond. Well, what will $10,000 mean for your organization? For college mentors for kids, it costs $1,000 for a mentor and a child for a year. And so $10,000 will ensure that 10 children visit college oh, 20 times. Oh, good. Well, congratulations. <laughs> for more information on Aaron's initiative and on our Dreamers and Endurers contest, visit our website at marthastewart.com dreamers. We'll be right back. Thank you.